hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to attach files using REST API on custom objects. Now why, why are using the REST API is because that is the only web service type that allows us to attach files uh, to the records of a custom object. Now for this example I'll be using this custom object uh, that I have here. Very important before you start make sure your custom object is in mainline. Otherwise, the web servers may not work uh, as you expect. So even though I'm here in a sandbox, uh, the custom object that I'm using is actually already in mainline and I also generated artifacts for it. That Keep that in mind. Now, first thing we need to do is to find out what is the REST API for the custom object. And we do that very simply by going to Application Composer. go to the area where your custom object is. Mine is on sales so you just click here on the custom objects and you should see here a list of your custom objects. Now if you look in the right side you will see uh, something called service and if you click on this it will give you here a new URL and this is the REST API URL for this particular custom object. Now keep this in mind we'll be using that. Also, one more thing to remember, uh, custom, all custom objects have an attribute for attachments. It may not be by default on the layout of the custom object, so you need to go to pages of the custom object, go to the details or creation, whatever you need. Uh, since release though, we cannot edit the default layout, so we need to make a copy of that and we will edit copy. And as you can see, I already displayed mine here, but if it wasn't here, we go with uh, edit this uh, this form. And here in available fields, you'll probably see something like this. And you need to take it from here and put it inside the fields. Once you do that, you click save and close. I'm not going to do that. I already have it on displayed. And the attachment is will be on your on your page. Now. We, do, we have taken the REST API URL. Let's go back to the custom object uh, landing page. I'll be using this record actually to, to demonstrate how to upload files. You see I've already uploaded here some files. Let me remove them to make this uh, easy to, to follow. one okay let's click OK let's click save and close okay now once we have this uh, REST API URL just copy this and open your preferred uh, REST client I am actually using um, Postman because it is easy to use and what you do is create a new a new call here put your uh, REST API URL, uh, use basic identification, uh, username and password from SalesCloud, and let's do a GET uh, call. And the GET call will give us all the records in that custom object. Uh, I have seven records, you should be seeing it. So if you go back to go to the bottom here, we have you see I have seven records. The limit to display the records is 25, this can be extended. But that's not the purpose of this, uh, this tutorial. Now, pick one record at random and let's look at it. You will see here you have something called links. And these are basically related collections to your custom object. And I have a few because I've created some dynamic choice lists. One of these links should be attachments. And it's, it's right here, this one. Just copy this one because we'll be using this one to uh, upload the files. So let's create a new call here. Again, basic authentication. And if look at the, how this is created, uh, in this part here we have the sales cloud port and address. Here is the, the area where the custom object is. Resource, this is the version of your environment. If you don't know the version, you can simply put here latest. 
it will work just as good. This is the name of your custom object, the name, the API name. And this is the record ID. Right, so this, uh, if we look up here, this is the record ID and the name. Right, so record ID, and this is where you access the child record, the child collection of attachments because attachments are actually a child of this custom object. Okay, so let's do a get here also. Let's see what we get. We shouldn't get any, uh, no attachments, as expected. Now, how the payload looks. Uh, now, how to upload files using this? First of all, we need to use the post operation, and then we need to do some things here in the header. Some clients by default will uh, recreate this. This is the best encoding of the authentication. So sometimes the client does this automatically. But what you need to input here on your own is the content type. And in uh, in Postman, you do it like this. You just type content type, and here you need to use. Let me get it from here. Sorry. You see, I did some tests here. This is actually the content type you need to use. Um, So that's basically the. Oh, what did I do? Content type. Okay. Okay. So uh, this content type you can get it from the REST API uh, documentation from Oracle Docs, and you can just go to any object, go to the where it says create. And here you will see the post operation and support media type. This and this media type is the same for any other objects. For example, partners. If I go uh, to a post operation, you will see the same media type. Okay, so that's how you get that. Um, okay, now we need to create the payload. This will be in the body, and the payload for uploading a file looks something like this. Uh, so for each type of file that you want to upload, the, it's pretty much the same, but uh, the values are a bit different. For example, in PDF, okay, so uh, what you the attributes you need are basic data type, file name, out of file content, data type, title, file contents, and category name. This never change. What changes is the values in here. And for example, for PDF, you need to make sure you have the extension here. PDF. You need to make sure you have here this uh, file content type because the server needs to know what kind of file you want to upload. And file contents here is basically the basis for encoding of your PDF or your file that you want to upload. And the category name this always remains this. Okay, so if we look for example for a JPEG image. Uh, again, we need to make sure we have the extension, we need to make sure we have the file content type right, and again, the basis for encoding of the image. Now, how do you actually get the details, these details? So, how do you know they are right? Well, that's very, very easily done by doing the following thing. Let's first move this back to, to get, and let's go in UI. Let's open the record. Here we can just upload some files. Let's upload a different file. So let's upload an image. Uh, let's set up token. Okay, let's upload uh, a zip. Uh, let's upload. Let's upload a document. I have a document here somewhere. Um, okay. Click OK. Let's click Save. Okay, and now back in uh, in your client, just click Send on uh, on a get. And now you see we are retrieving the attachments. And if you look on each attachment, it will tell you what exactly you need to use. 
So data type the data type called file. File name, the name of your file with the extension. Category name, MISO. File URL you're not interested, that's basically the location from the server where it's uh, the server where the file is hosted. Uh, now uploaded file content type, it tells you what you need to input in your uh, in your payload when you up upload yourself. Right, so if we move to another one, this is the, the zip file. Take a look, you have the upload file content type, it tells you what you need to use. So that's basically how you how you get the the values you need to use for different uh, files that you want to upload. Uh, okay, but let's do uh, let's do an action upload. So let's go. Let's move this back to post. You only do it with post, by the way. Uh, the header, as I said, you need to make sure you have the content type. I showed you how to do that. Uh, now the body. Let's take. Let's actually upload the, an image, right? So I said uh, I've already created here some uh, payloads. Let's take this one here. Now, I already name my my image uh, will be image one uh, dot jpeg, and I already put here the file content type as it was. Right? So this is the zip. Let me show you. Um, this is the jpeg, and as you can see here. Have this is what we need to use for uh, for JPEG, and what we need now is the file contents. This is, as I said, base64 encoding of the JPEG, and how you get that, it's up to you basically. I myself, for this example, I'll be using an online uh, image base64 encoder, and I've already done that. Uh, I've searched Google and I found this one here. So what I did, I uploaded my image here. This image, uh, just something random from the internet. It's pretty small, like uh, 155 kilobytes, and just click encode, and it gave me this huge string here, which is basically the basis for representation of that image. Now you need to take all this and add it to your payload in between the double quotes. And I already done that here. So this is the image, uh, and this is the the encode, the base64 representation, right? And so this is pretty huge. Okay, so I'll just copy this from from my notepad and I'll put it in Postman. Right. So now if I send. You should get oh, line four. Okay, so I probably I, uh, I did something wrong here. And on line four, I put another double code, which is not necessary. Let me remove that very quickly. Okay, let's go send. And now we have a status of 201, which is means created. And that he did. We see that we I just uploaded uh, a new attachment called image one jpeg if you go in UI, uh, so we had these three files here, and now if I close the this record and reopen it, refresh, uh, we should have a fourth uh, attachment here called image one. And as you can see, we have it here, uh, as long with the, with the other ones. And if I download this one here, you see it's actually the image from my from my uh, computer. Okay, so this is how how this works, and this is pretty much how you do it for any other uh, type of file. Uh, just make sure you put the right file content type, you put the extension right, and then you need to get the basis for representation of your file. And you can do that for Word, you can do that for Excel, for Zip, uh, any number of uh, of files. And I showed you how to get uh, the right values that you need to put in here. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this was a useful tutorial. Uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.